my name's Dave Rowe, I'm a member of the Burton Model Engineering Society. This is my locomotive, 7 and a quarter inch gauge, the model of a German industrial locomotive. It's uh, generally made of castings, metal, um, metal parts. Took me five years to make, used part time. Uh, basically, just fill it up with water and put some coal in the boiler. You light the fire, let the steam get up, and it runs like a like a kettle essentially. Just makes steam and drives the machine along. Go up with water. As you can see on the gauge there. Uh, it's half full and now we're ready to couple up the tender and then start lighting the fire. Okay now we just uh, couple the tender and the loco together. There's a few pipes to be for the water pipes to be connected and the draw bar. on the, uh, the water from the main tap in the tender to allow water to feed to the injectors to feed the loco. I'm going to light the fire now. It's, it's not quite as straightforward as you might think on a locomotive. Uh, you've got to have suction to draw the flame through the, from the firebox and through the engine and up the chimney. And for that we use a fat is the fan which we put in the chimney to start off with. The next stage we need to start the fire using wood. Now this is just cuttings of wood which have been soaked in white spirit or, or paraffin, whichever you've got to help them burn. I tend to start it off initially with a fire lighter just to get things moving. I've put that in there and you can see that the smoke's coming out of the chimney now, out of the, out of the firebox instead of going up the chimney. So I've put the fan on, which then draws the fire through and out. Feed a few, a few more bits of stick on to try to get the fire going. to draw on that fire now, you can see. Hold on, to try to get the things moving. down to the axle boxes, there's a pipe from there to each axle box, so uh, we'll do them all in one go. Keep an eye on the gauge, this is the pressure gauge which tells us how much pressure we've got in the boiler, it'll take a little while to uh, to, to raise pressure but um, basically that's all we're waiting for now is that once we get up to that sort of red line there we're ready to go. We've got 40 pound on that's sufficient for the locomotive to run itself uh, so we can switch the blower off now so we no longer need to suck the gas and flames through the boiler.
I use this to put in the chimney to stop sparks coming out. It's just so that people don't get the clothes burnt and the driver doesn't get stuff in his eye. The job is that sort of up. We we'll keep the boiler. Put a bit more on the fire. Pressure's now coming up towards the red line, so we can ease off on the blower a little bit. Uh, and in a minute, the, the safety valve should lift just to let you know the boiler's up to pressure, really. Thanks for watching.